Nacho, nacho fries. I want to eat some nacho fries. Mrs. Goblin isn't here to stop me from singing. <laughs> nacho, nacho fries. Hello, goblins and goblinettes. Destined Goblin here again with another episode of Destined to be Goblin. This is where I will try a food product of some kind and decide whether or not I should give it the official Destined Goblin seal of approval. So I have my nacho fries. We are at Taco Bell today, and uh, this is a returning favorite. This is not a, a new product, obviously. It's been out a few times at Taco Bell. Um, I, I did try a different version of it today, though, and that's that's the uh, thing that I'm a little bit excited about here. So um, one of the things that we have been seeing out of fast food restaurants lately is that they will put they will come up with a new product. They will put that product out for a little while, um, take it away. And then after some time has gone by, bring it back again. And I think it's a really smart idea to do this. We're seeing it more and more from places like um, Sonic. And um, Taco Bell does it a lot. Um, we're starting to, to see more and more places are catching on to this formula because um, I think it, it allows a new product to always be coming out and it also keeps those products fresh. Um, it keeps them from kind of getting stale by having them on the menu all the time. So I think it's really smart. Uh, that they're doing this, and uh, Taco Bell especially does it with uh, a lot of their items, and Nacho Fries is that one that uh, a lot of times they will um, put that out, take it away for a little while, bring that, that back out again. So um, here we have the Nacho Fries. Now, the very first time Nacho Fries came out, I did not try them. I wasn't overly impressed with the thought of it, because, I mean, really, when you think about it, it's french fries with a little seasoning on it and some cheese. Uh, second time it came out, I did try it and I thought it was good. I didn't think that it was um, as fantastic as um, Taco Bell would have you believe people thought it was. I'm not sure if maybe Taco Bell kind of fed into that narrative a little bit or if they really were as popular as the, the chain says that they were. But um, supposedly nacho fries uh, are really loved by everybody and, and it's kind of like the McRib thing. Um, when it comes out, everybody always wants to rush over and get those nacho fries. Um, overall, it, it's a good product. I mean, it has that nice Mexican uh, seasoning on it and it has that cheese sauce and I love that cheese sauce uh, from Taco Bell. Now, what I've got today are the Nacho Fries Bel Grande because I figured why just get the Nacho Fries when I could actually have them as the Nacho Fries Bel Grande. I don't remember them having this option the last time that they came out. Maybe they did, and I just didn't realize it. Um, but Nacho's, Nacho's Bel Grande uh, is fantastic. I love that. It's got that seasoned ground beef on it. It's got those um, diced tomatoes and all of that cheese and that sour cream. So now we're taking that nacho fries concept and we are adding all of those toppings on there. Look at how good that looks. I cannot wait to dig into this thing. Um, 710 calories. So this right here is a full size lunch, really, especially if you're watching your calories. Um, 449 roughly. Uh, and again, order through the app and you'll get those reward points and then those can be applied further down the line. You can get some free food. A um, couple of these nacho fries have not been touched by some of the toppings. So before we start with the, uh, the nachos or the uh, nacho fries Bel Grande, I'm going to go ahead and just try one of those nacho fries just to get a taste of that seasoning again. See if it's how I remembered it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the fries are nicely cooked. Um, they're nicely seasoned. They do have that uh, Mexican uh, flavoring seasoning on them. 
Um, they're not overcooked. They're not undercooked. They are very um, perfectly seasoned and cooked here. Okay, but now here comes the test because now I'm going to go in and get some with those toppings on there. And uh, now we'll see how this compares to the, the nachos bel grande. This is the nacho fries bel grande. The one thing about this that is giving me just a little concern, it's not a great amount of concern or anything, but um, nachos bel grande, the thing I love about the nachos bel grande is the crunch of the chips. Obviously, you're not going to get that crunch with this, but let's see how those flavors kind of meld. And I'll make sure that I get everything in this bite, some of that meat, some of those tomatoes, some of that cheese, and then one of those fries there as well. So there is a good fork full there. We've got all of those toppings on that. Let's see how this goes. Mmm. 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 Oh yeah. Um, the I love the uh, the ground meat, uh, the ground beef that Taco Bell uses. Um, this is fantastic. Um, this tastes really great. Let's get another one of these. Um, perfect amount of cheese and toppings and beef, and um, just nicely melding together with everything. Oh yeah, I mean, what a great lunch item. Um, if you're looking for uh, something for, and, and the, the nice thing about this, the, the fries makes this a little bit heartier of a dish. So if you're looking for something for lunch, um, you want something uh, Mexican flavor, Taco Bell flavor, um, you don't necessarily want the, uh, the chips uh, on there, the nacho fries are a great alternative to this. I don't know why. If this was out before, the last time that nacho fries came out, and I didn't get it, I don't know why I didn't. I honestly must not have known that this was an option because this is fantastic. Uh, this is a great way to enjoy those nacho fries, and you get all of those flavors that Taco Bell is known for, those flavors that we love from Taco Bell. Seal of approval, hands down. So there we go. Uh, those are the nacho fries from Taco Bell available for a limited time. And um, now, of course, you can get them in the uh, nacho fries bel grande version as well. So check those out while you can. And then, as always, if you would be so kind as to like this video, share this video, comment on this video. And then, of course, if you have not yet done so, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. I would appreciate all of those things, uh, and you can accomplish all of those things by pressing those buttons that you will see on that bar directly below this video that you are watching. And then if you do have any suggestions for any type of content that you would like to see here, uh, you can reach me through my email, that is destinedgoblin at yahoo.com. Uh, I will take any suggestions that you make, uh, whether it's a type of food you'd like to see me try, if it is someplace you'd like to see me go, something you'd like to see me do, uh, I will be happy to entertain all of those suggestions. I will do my best to respond to every email that you send me, and I will definitely take every suggestion that you make to heart. So until next time, go get those nacho, nacho fries.